<laughs> I didn't know he was talking. Hello, hello. Hello. So we're waiting for Jenny's evening. internet to catch up here. There my, she is. Yeah, I'm here, girl, I'm here. I hope my internet's not, I think it was messing up a little bit today, so I hope it's okay. Well, hello and good evening to another Saturday night of Shadow Whispers in the night. Is my internet still okay? Yes. Good, 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 good. Uh, my co-host tonight is Miss Robin Ramsey. How are you this evening? You jumped in for me. How are you today? <laughs> I'm fantastic. I'm happier now that we are together and that I feel at mm -hmm. home on the show. I just feel like the day is complete. So I'm happy Lovely. to be here. Yep. Thank you so much. I love you, Anne, because you have a million questions, a million questions. We do have David Childers on tonight. Uh, he's not running late. I got the time wrong, <laughs> but he is eating and he will be on it in about 10 minutes with my dog. He'll be in in about 10 minutes. So because I got the time wrong, because I f couldn't do the time properly. So I, I failed math in school. But anyhow, uh, we are here. We will be waiting on him and he will come in. Yeah. That's it. So um, I'm super excited to find out what he's up to lately. I know that he's always super busy. And yes. He's always like showing his picture. He's always doing, he's with the right people at the right locations all the time. So I kind of wonder what stops. he's doing. Yeah. Never stops. We were, hi. Let me see this. Oh, Pamela. Hi, Pamela. There's hi, Pamela. Pamela. Pamela's always here. And Melissa Grubbs. Yeah. David, David Childers will be on in, right. in, about, in about 10 minutes. He's because a paranormal I, Southern gentleman. <laughs> Yeah, but when I rang him, um, I oh, that's so nice. When I rang him, uh, he was eaten. So, eaten. shadow whispers in the yeah, night. Yes, we are here. Um, do I have? I do have it. I have an another one on the next week. Um, but I'm going to read a little bit of bio for David before he comes on. I put my glasses on because I cannot read nothing when I thought. So, uh, David Childers, he's an actor, speaker, photographer, he's a co founder of his haunted network. David has always, always been drawn to the world of paranormal. Never has he questioned the existence of the spirit world. One major factor was growing up uh, was with family members who had certain gifts and abilities. Melissa, he is a great guy. Um, over the years, uh, he has had the pleasure to investigate and film with so many of the top experts around the world uh, and to be viewed over 50 different platforms. Some of the experts and shows that he has had the amazing opportunity to work with as follows, and this is the list. Have you heard this list before, Robin? It's a big one. Uh, some, it's been easy, yeah, bloody some. busy. So Stormy yeah. Daniels of Spooky Babes Paranormal Show, Therese Appel, Doc, Dark Horse Press, Ashley Goodwin from the Ghost Hunters International and Sci-Fi, Dalen and Juan from Ghostbusters on Destination America, Jack Osborne of Fright Night Club of Discovery Plus, Zach and Aaron from Ghost Adventures and Travel Channel, Patrick Burns from True TV's Haunting Evidence and Travel Channel's Paranormal uh, Challenge, uh, Keith Age from the Booth Brothers uh, film on Sci-Fi, Kevin Betzer and Randy Hardy from Sci-Fi's uh, hit show Deep South Paranormal, and I've seen that, and Jeremiah Riggs from WWE, um, Tough Enough. David has also been featured on t and &E channels in Canada, Paranormal 911, I love that, uh, on the Travel Channel. Haunted Hospitals, we've seen that. That one's actually a brilliant one. Um, on the Travel Channel, most terrifying places in America on the tra Travel Channel. Strong Evidence on the Science Channel. Destinations Americas on Ghost Asylum. Ghost Adventures on Travel Channel. Bio Channel, Lifetime, Oxygen, Mississippi Rose, Canada's Ghost Stories. Finding Bigfoot and National and Local Mississippi News Channels, just such as WLBT, WJV, USA Today and Claren Ledger and CNN. And that's the show. And that's it, we are done. <laughs> so he never, never stops. So we have loads to talk about tonight. We have loads to talk about. I'm looking forward to it. He is a great guy. Um, I'm gonna go in and see he some is. of this on uh, my page now, because some, some of the comments I cannot see. And um, so I'm going to have to go into my page. H and have yes. And I, yeah, I don't think I, oh, I can. <laughs> I can see oh, the comments. Anne. Hello, Anne. Anne. I was supposed to text you, but I fell asleep on the couch. But I will text you, my love. I will text you. Um, yeah, David, David gets around and he's been doing it for a while. And some of us have been doing it for a long time, but he's been doing it in the public eye. You know, that's not always easy. It's not. 
Um, and uh, so he's been able to tough it out. He's been able to tough it out hanging out with Stormy Daniels. Oh, I know. David. I mean, and the fabulous locations that they go to as well. Uh, yes. He's, so, uh, he's mentioned the Booth brothers. I didn't know that he had met them. Um, I used to hang out with them a long time ago. And by hang out, I mean, they weren't my friends or anything, but uh, we yeah. hang out and do like Paracon stuff. And uh, they still look almost identical to what they looked like 10, 15 years ago. So them and then um, the ghost. Did you say that he uh, was with the ghost brothers at some point? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I love those guys. He was, yeah, I know. And you know, I want him now to add this part onto his bio and now featured on Shadow Whispers uh -oh. in the Night. Second There's time around. Gone. Now Actually, she's back. Second, third time around. I think it was the second or third time that David has been on. I mean, we need to get nice. Chris on. No curses on top of his head as well. Chris is coming over to Ireland in October. Oh, really? Fabulous. Yes, he's coming you over. Hang out with you? Or are you going to castles together? Or what are you going, going to do? Well, they are going to be at the Puka Festival. They're coming over in October and they're going to the Puka Festival. So mm -hmm. he's coming over um, with Michelle Roos and and they're going to do investigations and locations in Ireland. I think they're going to be in Galway as well. Uh, they'll be going to the usual locations like Lip Castle and, and, and like Redwood Castle. Mm -hmm. We'll be there in April. Um, but yes, we're hoping to meet up. I know I'm going to be with my team on the 28th and 29th of October. We're going to stay in an Airbnb castle. I think it's in Killarney or Kilkenny. And it's an Airbnb, so we're going to be there for the weekend. And we're I going to do what we do best. I mean, sure, what else would you be doing You know, on, on a weekend, going to castles? I mean, yeah. I'm wearing castles. There's teams. worse things that you could be doing on the weekend than going to castles. Airbnb. You know how... That sounds to people that aren't from <laughs> nations with castles. <clears throat> you know, I go to Airbnb when I visit my parents, and it is a shack behind someone else, someone's house. <laughs> yes, and they say they're not watching you in the hot tub, but you know they're looking out of you, looking out their window at you in the hot tub. But so you're going to castles. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, so when you say that, it's like I feel like you should be like, you know, there should be confetti and like. But we do it all the time and does it all the time. We like any team that I know do, does castles all the time. It's kind of like, you know, on the 28th and 29th, we're in Redwood Castle on the 28th and then Lep Castle on the 29th. Wow. So we are going to be, uh, Eric. Oh, yeah, do. Yeah, that would be great. Sasha, hold on, my wee girl. Um, but there's other locations like museums that we do as well. But and I was just saying to you before, um, I, I should have put it on actually, I actually might try and get it up on video here. Um, uh, last night when I had a show on last night, um, there was myself and Nando and the Bald and Bonkers. And the last time we, the last time um, I heard a voice coming over on a live was on another show that I was on in America. And I could hear my name. I must put the two of them up. And I could hear my name. Like, you can hear the static coming in, and then I can hear Jenny. And then you see my face change. It's the one I sent you before. You'll see my face. I didn't face get a chance to listen to it yet, because I was running around right yeah. before. And we, oh, this is yeah. one ages ago, but I'll resend it to you. Um, okay. Oh, I thought you, you meant last night. Face, oh, the one last night. Oh, no, no, the one last night that I sent that to you, but the one I, I was on a different oh. show in America, my my name was said through it, but you'll see me kind of like, my, I'm smiling. And then my face changes. Yeah, Eric heard it too. Um, and then my face changes on one of the, that show I was on. And then last night, um, and I said, now I know I heard something again. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it out loud. I'm gonna say it. And I said, guys, did anybody hear a voice did anybody hear a man and everyone heard it apart from yeah. nando because nando was looking at something but we um we kind of clipped that we did that we did a look back at it we clipped that one out that part out and you hear what he's saying he's saying a sentence we don't know if he was addressing um dakota uh others nando nando oh. good evening Oops. Mm -mm. um but yeah we we um uh we could we we I can't remember what Brian said what was said mm -hmm. but it was um it was brilliant it was we don't know whose microphone like, it came no, we, I, you sent me the clip and I'll I'm gonna yeah. listen to it and 
I'm, I'm going to I send it onto you there. I don't know if we can get it up on the page. Nando, are you free? Amri, oh, Amri, Amri, Amri. I'm sorry, I was on top of my head last night because I had another show to do at two in the morning. As you can see, I've come back. And I have an investigation tomorrow night. And I never stop. I'm tired. Uh, but at a castle Airbnb, at a castle Airbnb, it might be the spirits looking at you in the hunt. <laughs> <laughs> We had it's really just a flooded oubliette, right? Yeah, and what'd you say? The it's oubliette? Not, it's not a hot tub, it's just a flooded oubliette. Oh my gosh, was. that's one that would have been in Lab Castle. And no, just no. Oh, fuck, did you hear that? Something fell upstairs and I got a fright. Oh, can I tell you? There's there's a lot of stuff going on, right? In, in my house, there has been a, a lot going on surrounding all this uh i guess we'll call it trauma that i've been going through medically yeah a little bit. but I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, i started in. seeing shadow people which um it you know the house has a little bit of activity you know the 10 years that i've lived here whatever i oh, mean yeah. up daily and more of the marching around upstairs that i was talking about that my husband actually went up with a knife and if you knew him you would know that that was way out of his comfort zone but he thought someone was here, but anyway, so this is the other thing. Oh my gosh. Now, plumbing, right? Plumbing can do weird things. So say that there's a lot of pressure and, and your hot your hot water knob can actually come on and you know that sort of thing. Right. That's not a big deal. Do you know what's been happening to me in the shower? Someone's turning it off. Someone is turning the knob off on me, and it's happened twice. Well, now the first time I said, Did I bump into it? Did you know the uh the hose for the handheld shower. I said, did I, did I somehow rep? But how would I do that after, like I say, 10 years of living here? It's never happened. And now within the past couple of weeks, the hot water has been turned off on me twice. And so I don't know if it's a random spirit or, you know, I live across the street from a funeral home. Is it someone yeah. playing a joke on me? Is it my brother who passed away? Who was a, who would think that was pretty funny. He would think that was, that would be funny. Like or is it, you know, what's going on? Like, but there's been a bunch of other stuff. And, and the other part of me is, did something come home with me when I spent the night alone at Wildwood Sanitarium? Because it's kind of happened since then. So it was, I went there and did that. And then all this other stuff happened with, uh, you know, being in the hospital and all this other stuff. So I don't know where it came from. But okay. something's here and it's noisy and it's having a good time and it's turning the hot water off. And it's not funny because I live in the Northeast and it's, I mean, the cold water here, the groundwater. Right, it's, but it's freezing. It's like, in the background. I'm going to throw him in. Oh, good. good, good. I, I, got so I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to find out. I want to know. Put your recorders out, girl. Put your recorders I will. out. I, will. I want to know. But listen, not turn the shower off. Um, Amri, I'm going to see if I can get that clip put up on on the page here because i'm really nice. bad at doing it but i'm going to see if i can get it done but I, i'm gonna bring mr childers in <laughs> <laughs> there he is hey robin hey jan hi well, david what's wrong with that? oh my jay sorry my daughter came in david how are you what's the crack with you doing good doing good did i interrupt you eating your dinner yeah i was eating a salad Oh, yeah. we're eating a salad. Well, I had pasta and garlic and whatever else. Um, my daughter's just putting the dog out because she's crying. And then two minutes later, she's crying at the window to get in. Oh, my gosh. She oh. goes by. She goes by. <laughs> to see them. So how have y'all been doing? Y'all been doing okay? Good. Busy, good. busy, busy, which is a good thing. Yeah, like same here. <laughs> yes. Um, while we were waiting for you to, to finish your salad, Jenny read out your extensive list of some of the appearances that you have been. I'm sure it's not even an exhaustive list of the appearances that you've had, you know. And she just kept going and going and going. When do you like, do you do anything else besides the paranormal? Like, do you have a day job? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Laura. That's more actually one of my uh, friends right there. We're doing a couple of events together. She's oh, a okay. yeah, she's a founder of Deja Vu Paranormal. Oh, okay. fat, well, that's brilliant. We'll have a look at that. Where are they from? What area of the country are they? Is Vermont. Deja Vu? Vermont. Vermont. Yeah. Yes. But, awesome. Uh, I'm sorry. What were you saying, Robin? You you asked me about. <laughs> oh, oh I, I, you know my. What is your day job? What's your day job? Not to say what it is, but you know, do no, you? No, Pesticide applicator. You know. Okay. Basically, pest control. Yep. Well, pest control. I know a few pests that I need you to exterminate. Please. <laughs> right. Some right some up the old. Old. Uh, <laughs> So, but um, like uh, 
So are they pretty good about yeah. like letting you go on all? I mean, you're constantly. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm a, I don't know if anybody can hear on, me. Too. Most of the stuff I go on are like, you know, it's during the weekend, you know, whenever oh, yeah. it's like that. And plus, you know, vacation time too. You, I use it, you know. Do they know on. what you do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And they still work. <laughs> and they still oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, believe me. Yeah. They're all into it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> they ask questions every now and then. I was actually watching your show the other night. I was watching. I was watching the one um, haunted hospitals the, the other night. Oh, the other morning, I think. And um, I remember Jessica saying to me again. She goes, "Mom, is that your friend?" I said, "Yeah." Well, the guy in it is the actor, but the other guy talking is David. Yeah, that's David. But she goes, "Okay, um, what have you got coming up next, David?" I'm just checking my. Thing here. Uh, you, you never stop. Hold on. <laughs> Let me pull up the really? schedule real quick. Oh, uh, we'll we'll that's some oh. cool events coming up. Um, it's um, a lot of paracons, you know, paracons and, you know, right. just events, fundraisers. Uh, let's see. We got, well, I'll be doing filming here for a show uh, very soon. I'm not going to mention what it is, but it's, it's going to be definitely interesting. Um, that's okay. probably toward the beginning of, well, the end of this month. Then we got April 1st. Get, uh, Lucky Bacamino, she's having a uh, farewell, you know, retirement thing going on. That's going to be a fun event in Salem, uh, Salem, Mass. Oh, uh, I love to go to Salem. Yeah, I love oh, Salem. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Then yeah. we got uh, me and Karen Tattaro are doing Pinhurst Asylum at Fort Mifflin. That's a paid event. That's going to be nice. in April. They may got the Conjuring House again. Then, um, the six, I got an event with Stormy Daniels, Stormy again. Um, I think after that, we got another event that we're trying to put together with uh, Monique too soon. Uh, then we got America Stonehenge, May 13th. That's with uh, Connie Cohen. Oh, that's then, then we got uh, USS Salem Paracon. That's on the USS Salem the ship. Then we got yeah, May 26, Wilson Castle, June 3rd, Wilson Castle, then June 17th, Isaac Moore. Uh, whew, then USS Salem again, July. Then July, we got Hell House, uh, Gettysburg Battlefield Bash, July. Then Fort Mifflin again, August. <laughs> September, Hell House Paracon. <laughs> then Sleepy Hollow Paracon, the Mass Paracon. Uh, but we got, I forgot the, oh yeah. Yeah, March 11th is in New Jersey. Me and Sam uh, Balchustis, we're, uh he's doing an event. He invited me to come down there. That's going to be basically the first one. All right. Well, well leave you... some ghosts for the rest of us, David. <laughs> yeah, really? When are you going to squeeze Ireland in? When are you going to squeeze Ireland in? I know. We were talking <laughs> about it. Me and uh, Chris Sanders were talking about Yeah, it. he's over in October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so hopefully we're going to try and meet up. Because I know okay. I'm, I'm away. So I know he's going to be here from the end of was it the end of October to the some point of November. So hopefully I'll get. I I'm sure I will. I know I will. I'll just wherever they are, I'll travel over to them. Hope so. I, so. <laughs> oh, I told him too. Yes, Laura, yeah. get your ass over to Ireland. Yeah, Laura's talking about that. <laughs> so you never never stop. What's your favorite location to do? I know no. it's a question nobody asked, but what's your, which one? No, I was about to say, who's a Facebook user? I don't know. Facebook user, who are you? Who are you? Because we have David here. Um, <laughs> this year, right here, I won't be able to breathe. It's. <laughs> I mean, I'm, actually, it was all. It was last year that all this was booked for this year. So. <laughs> and I thought I was busy. And I have one month off, which is March, I think. But I'm doing shows in between all of that. Um, and I think we're all kind of booked up until June. Nice. Oh no, July. Yeah. We have a friend of mine from America coming over July. So she, I, I did the Hellfire with her last year when Nat and uh, Elliot from ACG Paranormal and Jennifer was there with them. So we all met up and now Jennifer's coming back over in July. So we're going to get a location for her. I could take her to the museum that I go to. Um, but that's it. And then August, September and the rest, I'm going to probably take a month off and catch nice. up. On a, a catch up on about six months work of audio and video to do. Yeah. No, no. I know. I think that this last month counts as my month off. And then I just have like something like maybe just once a month, nothing too 
not a schedule that's too crazy, but I feel like David's list of everything he just put was like the paranormal bucket list. Do you know what I mean? Like you just write that down and let me put it on the wall and check, check, check. And some of it I've done, but you know what I have not done is the, the, the USS Salem, like the ships and that sort of thing. I'm kind of really, uh, really excited to go. So what's like the best thing? Have you done the ship before? I think you have, right? Oh yeah, multiple, uh, multiple, multiple times. times. Yeah, with uh, Don De Cristofano. Yeah. Um, Don is actually over, you know, basically over everything on the ship and takes care of the fundraisers and events and stuff like that. Yeah, I've, I've been there multiple mm-hmm. times in the past, and uh, it's definitely a great location. Great it's location. huge. It's yeah, absolutely yeah. huge, and I've seen, I seen the live of it. I seen when you were doing a walk around and somebody came out behind the door and frightened the bejesus out of you. <laughs> <laughs> That was Michelle. That was Michelle Ross. <laughs> she scared the hell out of me. I think. Well, I'm just gonna ask: Do you ever get scared anymore? And on the ships, like uh, what? What? What's scary about those ships besides mm. falling in a hole? I mean, there was a, there was actually yeah, Laura. She's been to USS Salem too. Salem. Um, yeah, it, it is. I mean, there was at one point where, whenever me and Chris were investigating it, and we kept on seeing Uh-oh. a shadow figure go back and forth back and forth i don't know if it's for a wall and um then, what robin something wrong oh, oh. um no oh, okay <laughs> i'm seeing it going back and forth back and forth and i'll, I'll my back was toward a manhole and i was sitting okay. here i was like you can come over here you could talk to me you know i'm i'm not scared of you just come over here and get close to us and uh as soon as i said that adam uh, Adam Megan, he was yeah. just like right in front of me. He reached over and he grabbed me by my shirt and pulled me away from the manhole. I'm like, dude, what's wrong? He was like, I saw a shadow manifest behind the manhole and I thought it was going to pull you down to the manhole. Oh my gosh. And, really? Uh, yeah. It, it's pretty, I mean, it was a look of fear on his face. <laughs> it was a look of fear. He saw it. He, I mean, he wouldn't have acted like that. And um, no, no, it, it places shadow figures everywhere every yeah. time you go there you're going to get a uh, uh you know something going on yeah really? yeah Laura. that's a, it's close to the mess hall that's the same time it uh she was grabbed right in that area the mess hall in that area is just yeah. pretty interesting it's really. absolutely it's, it's it's insanely huge i've never seen anything like it before literally and i think um christina was doing a live uh and i of course was doing a live and you were doing a live oh my god and I remember what I did a ship up in the north of Ireland in Belfast, a HMS Caroline. She had just retired and it was amazing. It was phenomenal and probably, probably the best DVP that was ever gotten. Mm. It was, oh my gosh. I, I remember to this day. It was just, everyone heard it. Everyone heard it and you can hear the reaction. I don't have that audio, unfortunately. But yeah. um, who's this? Who's this? I keep missing up. I keep, I've missed keeping up with you. <laughs> The last couple of years. Years. Who's Facebook user? Just type in your name. Who's Facebook user? Oh, oh allow StreamYard to use your name, and then so we can see who's commenting, so then we can call you out. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's 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 definitely an experience there. The one I'm really really excited about is Hill House. Uh, I mean, Hill House is going to be so amazing. I know it is. Sam actually, Sam about choose this. Uh, talked to him the other day, and he went for his first time there. And he said, he told me, he was like, David, you're going to love it. You know, uh, and actually Hell House was in like three movies. It's called Hell House. Wow. Yeah, Hell House LLC. You look that up, you can watch all three of the horror movies. It's uh, definitely interesting. Uh, I think the Paracon, mm-hmm. so the actors and stuff are going to be there at that one too as well. We have, we have a Paracon coming up on the 18th of February. We've been waiting since last year for it. So, of course, we're meeting up. Mary kind of organized for, you know, a meet up, all the teams. So whoever's turning up on a Friday night in one of their local pubs, <laughs> you know, so that'll be fun. You know, yeah. as you were saying, get your singing voices ready. Um, that will be, I'll be crowing it out. I will be crowing it. And then the next day is Paracon. Fantastic speakers coming over and so on and so on. Um, what, I was going to say, what frightened you the most in paranormal, has anything ever made you scared enough to ever want to stop? Well, or just uh, take a breather it from would it. probably be, I mean, 
I stopped going to one location. It was Rocky Springs. It's in Mississippi. Mm. And uh, I stopped going there because I, it scared the hell out of me. I was, see, basically this place was a whole, it was a whole town. And mm. uh, during the yellow, yellow fever outbreak and all that shit, a whole bunch of people died. A whole bunch of people passed away, you know, children and stuff like that as well. And the place just started eroding. The town started eroding and they, people just ended up moving off. Well, we went out there to investigate it. And it was a full moon that night, and I was on the trail, and I, I forgot what I was asking. Oh, my God, it was like 10, 15 years ago. And I was asking questions. Next thing you know, something, uh, it was a, like, a, I guess, a shadow child or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but it was a shadow man manifestation. And it started, I saw, I saw it was like a ball, a shadow ball. Mm -hmm. was closer and closer to me. And then it just started manifesting right in front of me. I'm talking about from here. I mean, almost right there in front of my face. I dropped my equipment, and the, the investigators that were there with me, they were they were beside me. The girl screamed. She saw it, too. She screamed. I dropped my shit. I backed up. I was like, what the hell, you know? Then next thing you know, we heard footsteps coming in front of me and behind me. And it got closer and closer, and I was like, nope, I'm done. There's no telling whenever – that energy gets like right there where I'm at. Yeah. yeah. We don't know what the intention is because yeah, we don't know what it is. So you see, you yeah. know what we, want? we want someone to stay there so we can find out. <laughs> Not whenever your body's like, get the hell out of here, you know, well, your body went fight or flight. Yep. Fight yep. or flight. Uh, David is sometimes afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it is. That's the way it is. Like I can go to look, I'm sure you guys are the same way. You can go and do all the hardcore stuff in the dark in these dangerous places with entities we don't know. And you like accidentally see yourself in the mirror and you go, ah, have you ever done that? Like you just scream, like see your reflection or something. <laughs> all of us, all of us, together, we were all, uh, we all got to actually the video. I got the video on my TikTok page, uh, Michelle Ross. Uh, she was like, hey, y'all come out. Uh, let's go to this. Uh, uh, it was like a cave and stuff. I forgot where it was. It was like some sort of park or something. But it was pretty cool because it was a cave there you can go in. And me mm. and Michelle went in there. And <laughs> I was sitting there. And the way the way this, the way the cave is, it's like a snake. It, you can't see what's around the corner. So I'm sitting here. I'm filming. I look at Michelle. Then I look back. And I saw the shadow. <laughs> it was my shadow. Oh, I've seen that. <laughs> I've seen it. Is that Michelle right there? Who is that? Isn't that Michelle? Oh, okay, it's so cool. It it scared the hell out of me. I I'm jumped in. I was like, oh, shit. And Michelle was like, what? I was like, oh, my God, my shadow. I, went, I saw a shadow. And she said, she was like, was it yours? I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it, I mean, it scared the hell out of me. because I mean, you can't see what's going on. Oh, it's Kate. <laughs> Hi, Kate. I seen that video. I seen it. And I'm like, I am so glad I am not the only one that does it. Like, people joke at me or laugh at me when I say I don't go to the bathroom on my own. And, you know, I say it to anyone. I was in fabulous Greg Cost show last night. And uh, I said it. I said it. People are probably thinking Jennifer got a little crazy. But no, I know these toilets. I think the only place bathroom I go to on my own is Lep Castle because everyone's on the ground floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're all beside me. Apart from that, no. Absolutely not. It's not no. one of the coolest things ever. I, you know, I'll go to the bathroom by myself. I don't mind, but I was with these two ladies, and one of them was adamant that none of us are to go to the bathroom alone. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be awkward because I'm going to have to pee, and then I'm going to have to, like, concentrate – to peak, do you know what I mean? Like I, the audience thing, like fright. Uh, so, uh, so I'm sitting there. They're both looking in the mirror at this vanity beside me, and I'm sitting here concentrating, trying to pee because there's people there and manifesting right in front of my face, just like they were saying. Like it was a white uh, mist, not a black mist, but it was a shape and about the size of an American football. And it was right, and they were so busy looking at their own little shiny faces that they missed it. But it like came right <laughs> by my face and. And as I'm saying, oh my God, you guys look, I just started peeing. I was like, this is magical. This is like the best like, <laughs> thing ever. But I, I actually prefer to go alone, even if it's scary. You know, even if you have to kind of tuck your butt in and run a little bit, not run, but you know what I mean? Like, ooh, because you can feel things behind you. I just, it's harder for me to pee in front of people or next to people oh, when they're good. very good. Or seeing good. me than it is to uh, deal with the entities. That's oh, just, thanks for listening to me. It's like therapy. Speaking of peeing, we were at uh, me, Chris, and Christina 
we're at Pennhurst Asylum. And they have a they have a play outside where the picnic tables are. It's like, oh my god, one o'clock in the morning, something like that. And it, it was us three and like three other people of the paranormal team that was there. We're sitting here just talking. Next thing you know, in the porta potty, we hear somebody peeing. And it lasted for at least three minutes. And we know nobody's in there. Right. And it was a constant stream. <laughs> we're like, we're sitting here like, dude, there's nobody in there. Nobody went in that porta potty. And whenever it stopped, Christina jumped up and she went over there and she opened up the door and was like, there's nobody in here. There's no way, no mm -hmm. water. I mean, it's a porta potty. There's no running water. But it was still, yeah. it, 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 I've never heard a ghost speed, but that was the first time well, I did. Well, you did, no, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah, oh, whatever. it was the oddest thing, and it was so many witnesses out there that experienced it and heard it and couldn't figure it out. I wore it out tomorrow night. Wear it out tomorrow night, so I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Do you find like, do you find if you the more equipment do you that you use, or Robin said, the more equipment you use, the less you get. I find, yeah, I do. Um, I mean, you're focused on all this stuff going that you have around. You're not focused on maybe one item. You know, yeah, one, yeah, yeah, one yeah. Tool. you know, that's the way I look at it. I at least have, you know, a couple of them out definitely to get validation from, you know, whatever's going on with the other one. Yeah. So, but, you know, me, I, I've always, I just stopped buying paranormal equipment because uh, I mean, all I, I want to do is go in there with the EMF detector, a voice recorder and a camera. I mean, I'm good with that in my awesome. body. Me too. Simple. A few uh, children's games, you know, for children play with colored games, things like that. Um, we have glow sticks and we kind of just use, you know, trigger objects for, for the children that's in the locations that we go to. I know we were in the museum last a few weeks ago and we so we have tripods out, we have the cameras up, uh, we have the touch lights, we have everything like that going on. Uh, it was such a quiet night. I've never felt so it was just so quiet. So now we're back out tomorrow night just for a few hours. So it's just going to be recorders, ITC the same old school the way we always did it and got amazing yeah. results from it yeah exactly oh and sp speaking of kate kate was at penhurst too with us and she heard the ghost peeing <laughs> what's it what's it like what's penhurst asylum like penhurst Dude. is amazing i love penhurst i mean there was that uh that's that one, one of the famous videos we have of me and chris investigating yeah. uh, in one of the hallways and I mean, we went live. It was like eighteen thousand people watching this live. Okay, eight as many. Eighteen thousand. Holy crap! Wow. We're watching this live, <clears throat> and Chris was like, "I mean, oh. you can go to my TikTok and see it." I, I think, I think I'll send it to you. But uh, yeah, we're sitting here, and Chris was like, "We're we can see the end of the hallway. It's not that far oh. away, but it's yeah, sort of dark." It. Yeah, and yeah. kept on seeing the shadow go back and forth, back and forth. And Chris was like, "Hello." Yeah, yeah, I see. We, we sort of heard a female say hello back. Uh, we couldn't tell if it was an echo or not. Then Chris says hello again. Four seconds later, a male voice I mean, it's DVP. I mean, a male voice at the end said hello. It came back, and we were like, oh shit. And there's nobody down yeah. there. I should look those videos it, to cut them up. I should have got those videos off you to get them up to show them that was brilliant but it's on tiktok what give me a tiktok i know i have you i have you on tiktok give it to oh, me and I'll, I'll put it in the banner here now and so i can put it up okay okay i'll uh let me look it up real quick it is it is quite good it is quite good i've seen the videos as well and the one yeah. of the uss salem if you could pull if you can put the tiktok video up on there of the can you oh can you share your screen Mm, hold on one second. Yeah. If you send it on to Robin, Robin can share the screen. I'm still have I still have to kind of I know I, I have to get on to um one of the guys to help me to do to share a screen. I actually forget how to do it. But Robin, can you do it? Are you I, are you no, it Robin says present slides, video files, share screen. Yep. So if you look at the bottom in the middle, either you can do it by hitting presents or you can uh messenger it to me and I'll put it up. Okay, send it on to me and I'll message it on to Robin. Do you want the, the video or the link? Uh, the video. Which was better, Robin? Video or link? Um, it says share screen, so either way, I guess. Okay. I, think. Sure. I, know I haven't done it. I haven't done it, so I don't know really. But okay, it should be. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll do anything once. You ask anyone. That's, that's <laughs> she does. 
I, I don't know how many times I was on video call with, with uh, Robin and she was yeah. in the castle. And I've said this a million times and she was um, going into the attic and I'm screaming at her, tell the team where you, you're going, tell the team where you're going, you know, safety. But um, Dave's probably been up there. It's that it's on the se the third floor, Wilson. Yeah, and and it's oh, just yeah. uh, there's that. It just looks like a part of the wall, and you just pull on it, and there's that the real attic where the hatch is to go outside on the roof yeah. up in there. Yeah, I, st I stacked some bricks for Jenny. I wonder if they're still I know stacked. We I wanted them to not. David, what are you I haven't been back in a in a in a while. Actually, I haven't been to and it's the one of the closest locations to me, of course. And I haven't been back in a while. Yeah, really. Just, How far is it away from you? Um, it's an hour and a half drive or something like that. It's cool. Yeah, it's like two hours from me. Mm -hmm. come, we, we're doing two events there. Oh, I'd love to go over. I know we were, we were all supposed to meet up and go to um, uh, Salem. Remember, Robin, me and Aiden were going yep. over. Yes, over we were. We were going right. to David. Robin, I just sent you the link. I, I, Perfect. Couldn't, I couldn't download it. So. Okay. Let me give it a try. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Oh yeah, the balloon. Oh yeah, was the castle. Uh, me and Laura were on the third floor, and we were—I was actually filming, and there was a balloon where the where the carriage is on the third floor, and uh, the floor, like the day room or something like that. And she went over there and she picked it up. It was on the floor. It, it, I mean, it was it was aired up with the helium that went out in it, and what? she put it on one of the benches and left it there to see if something would come up there and move it you know right. well came back like two hours later went up there and well, she was like yeah i want to go check to see where the you know something moved the balloon went up there the balloon was gone and nobody was allowed on the third floor we were the only ones able to be up on the third floor oh really gone it was gone and we were looking around i was like where the hell is the balloon at i look over in the baby carriage and it was in the carriage shoved in the back with force, I reached over there and I went. I went to go grab it. I had to pull it out, and nobody, nobody was up there. Uh, I actually oh, saw a six foot shadow figure. You know, this is during the daytime. I saw a six foot shadow figure there, and we uh, also a rocking chair, rocking back and forth aggressively, door slamming. Yeah, it was crazy. Yes, yeah. That's the most. Uh, uh, I'm gonna write that. Now, we the, the shadow figures on that third floor. We saw them start small and grow to uh, the, the door where you walk in, when you first walk into the third floor up the little second little step, it right, right in front of that, but in that main like uh, central foyer or whatever, just started growing, yep. growing till it took up the whole space. Right? Yeah. Okay, I have this up. I'm gonna oh, see if gonna... I can share it. Okay. Yes. Okay, so, okay. Let me, uh, I'm gonna share I my screen. I need to know how to do it, but I need to know how to do it. Share the screen. Here we go. And Robin, uh, can you see my screen? Uh, no, not yet. Here, oh, I here think you have... I oh, can do a particular okay. window. Hi, got you here now. Oh, there it is. Ready? I need to know how to do this. Hi. Go on. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Let's try that again. Yeah, you have to listen to it. Oh, yeah. It's loud. Loud and clear. Okay. I heard the female at the beginning as well. I, I definitely heard that. That's wild. Yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> It made it made both of us jump back like, oh my god! You know, we weren't yes. expecting it. Uh, the Shanley Hotel, we got a good video at the Shanley Hotel too. Uh, is actually uh, it was me and Mandy from a totally weird and twisted podcast. Right. And well, it was me, April, Bassett, Chris, uh, Mandy, Katie. Uh, we we were investigating the third floor there. And we heard something go off in the second room next to us. Me and Mandy went in there and I've got it on video and everything. I've never had anything like rush toward me where I could hear it. And, oh my God, it's scared. Really, it's scared. It's scared Have you got it on TikTok? Yeah, I've got yeah. that video too. And uh, well, Mandy's in there and I'm sitting here. I'm, uh, she's filming and 
we were looking at the piece of equipment that went off for no reason. And next thing you know, we hear something behind us. It was actually a metal chair slid up against the wall in that room. Oh, I see and that. Then, you know, we turned around and I was like, can you do that again? And next thing you know, something bah, 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 ran straight toward us. I jumped in front of Mandy because I, I I didn't know. And it just yeah. like, right in front of me. It was a great shit. It was. Yeah. Can you put that up, David? Because it is a problem. I did see it. I was running just listening to it. <laughs> I felt like I wanted to run just listening to it. Shanley is no joke. You know that. You know, there's there's a slight bit of controversy around the Shanley, at least in my little circle, where they say, you know, like they like they're they they don't like the fact that the whoever's running it. Uh, I don't want to name anybody, but they, they never leave you. They don't leave you completely alone. At least that was our experience. And uh, they're like, oh, they're they might even be faking stuff. Let me tell you. I know what I, I understand how it all works and stuff, the electronics part and all that. The things I experienced there could not be faked. And not yep. only that, we had we had members talking about uh, a man named Peter or something like that. They kept saying, we feel like there's somebody named Peter here. And I went back and, and I pulled all the, the CCTVs and this is like a week later and I'm watching all the footage, mostly really boring. And then that one CCTV that's like 10 feet away, there's a man in there and he's right in the microphone going, yep, it's me, Peter, 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 that's me. He's like, and I was like, holy shit. That's awesome. That's but awesome. The that's awesome. You know, the uh, psychomantium that they have there at that little room where they have, I don't know if it, it's by where the, uh, the brothel area off the kitchen, off that main. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they have a big mirror in there. And I said, it, I didn't get a good angle with the, the camera or whatever, but I'm looking in that mirror and I watch my face almost go crow magnet. I've told this story before where my forehead comes way out and my eyes turn solid black. And on camera, you just see me go, oh, wow, or something stupid like that, right? Listen, three days later, that's when I fell down the stairs that I'm sitting right next to. And I hit my head so hard on the arm, chair of an arm. Do you remember like, and it was like January 3rd, 2020 before the pandemic and everything. And I had these two huge black eyes and my head had this big lump that looked like Florida. And I said, is that all you got 2020? But when I looked in the mirror, I swear to God, I looked exactly like I did it in that psychomantium. And I thought, A, was it predicting or did it cause that? I don't know. But I looked all identical. So I have respect for Shanley and also Hi. a female there that followed us around that told me she is not a dog to be told what to do. She was furious. So I don't know if it was anyway, that's I go on. Yeah. I'll just send you the video. Try to pick that one up. Yeah, the shame it's supposed to be a ghost wolf there or something like that. And that's what we that's what we were thinking. Whatever it was, sounded like it was on all fours or rushed toward us. Oh, wow. I heard that one was brilliant. I'm just gonna get in something on my phone. That one was brilliant. I seen it, and that was the was it the one where the chair moved? Uh, well, we didn't see the chair move. I mean, yeah, we heard the chair move. It slid behind. Yeah. It, it was it was a metal chair, and it's propped up against the wall. Yeah, we heard the chair move. And she was, and Mandy was like, "What was that?" And turned around, and Mandy was was not well to the side of me at the time, and. I, I think what I, I just said, can you do that again? And then next thing you know, boop, 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 ran toward us. She screamed. I jumped in front of her and we're like, holy shit. You know, it, it was crazy. I've never been rushed at like that. That again. run, that run. I heard that run coming towards you. And it, yep. that's a big no, no. I mean, that's a no. <laughs> I, I mean, I know when we've been on locations that's before. Yeah, huh? it's like not not a good intention. No one's like, "Hey, running at you, going, hi, I'm a good spirit." They're running at you to scare the. Okay, I've got it here. Okay, have you got it? Okay. Oh, let me just bring it up yep. here. Ready? Go. We're not here to bother you. We're here to find out that you're here and take any messages you'd like to give us. Fuck is that now? The fuck? Um. Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, do that. Do that again. You could hear it. Da, 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 da. What the fuck is that now? The fuck? Um. Oh, oh yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? 
Yeah, yeah she's behind me like shit. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that was it right there. And you could probably hear that chair slide, but uh, yeah. fucking crazy. It was crazy. I remember wow. that one. I was just mad. Can you do me a favor, Robin, for a second? You know that. Sure. What, Go into your inbox, and you know the one that I sent you from last night. David, I want your opinion on this. So the show I was doing last night in Shadow Whispers, we had a, a bald and bonkers on with us. And um, the, the, I did a show before, say last year or the year before, and um, I heard my name being said. I think I sent it on to you. I heard my name being said, like, Jenny. So last night when we were doing the show, doing the live, I heard a voice again. And I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it this time. And I said, did anybody? say something and uh uh dakota heard it christopher heard it i heard it nando didn't hear it at the time so anyone robin you heard it and you were watching it you can hear it could you put that up if you could just to see i think i think we know what's being said just show but how about we let you okay are you ready yeah go for it here we go okay. can't hear it oh sorry that we were put here did anybody whisper there for a second? No? Yeah. Bring it back. <laughs> Let me rewind. That we were put here. Did anybody whisper there for a second? No? They weren't exactly happy that we were put here. But they weren't exactly happy that we were put here. But they weren't exactly happy that we were put here. Okay. 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 Yeah. No, Brian thinks he knows what's being said. You, you uh, need to bring your damn battery in your smoke detector. I know, I know. <laughs> it has been a year and you still haven't changed that damn battery. Longer than that, and it needs its own like web page or something. Jenny smoke detector, twenty four seven. You can just go on and listen to that shit. But. And it's annoying now because I'm looking at the playback and this, you can hear the smoke alarm in the background. I think I just don't hear it anymore. Oh, Pamela heard the whisper as well. And I just don't uh, hear it anymore. I, then I, I heard it with an S word maybe, but just that's just here. And thus, I haven't been able to listen to it like with headphones separately. What what does Brian think it's, it says? I forget what Brian thinks. I forget what he, he heard. But when he played it last night, myself and Nando could get it as well. It was like a full word sentence. Um... I can't remember. I know Brian's not free at the moment. I wanted to PM him and ask him. And Nando, I don't know if Nando, I think Nando, Nando has family around to find out what was being said. But uh, when I find out later on tonight, I'll put it, I'll put it up. Her bird is, is, is that? My bird is going to mimic the fire alarm. She does. She likes that sound when she wants to be annoying. So she heard the beep and then she went beep. There she goes again. There's so is that, is that, that's a that's a parrot African grey sassy. Yeah. Is that, is that her copying off my yeah. That's her. She's, <laughs> she heard now I'm gonna have to live with that probably the rest of the night. Uh, yeah, you can't that, change that battery. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, will, I will, I will. I'm gonna get a hammer and break it off and, and that's funny now. Sassy's hilarious. <laughs> and I can think yeah. of it. oh, it's so funny, like no, she is, but damn. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I will change. I will change it. I will. Oh, oh my God. Jesus <laughs> Christ. We like, believe you. <laughs> like, that's funny. I will change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's, that's awesome. Funny. It never stops. It's a bloody mad house between her house and my house. Um, when you were saying that your, your favorite, I want to ask you about you because I'm all about the audio. I love the EVPs. I'm all about audio. Love it. Mm -hmm. yep. What audio? There she is. I have a few audio that stands out for me. What audio stands out for you that is the creme de la creme, like the golden ticket one? I have one of them. I've got a couple of EVPs that I've had. I will, Melissa. I will. <laughs> Change the battery. <laughs> I have one of them. Actually, if I can find it on SoundCloud, I can send it over and let y'all listen. Oh, good. It's yeah, it's a, little girl, it's a little girl down at Old River Chicks, which is actually the Janelli building, and uh, it's uh, a door of the Glam House now. It's a salon. Mm. And my friend Chris Burks, uh, he got an EVP of a little girl saying, "I'm still alive in here." Oh, 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, let yeah. me see if I, can... I hear that one as well. I heard all oh, your yeah, work. I, I don't know if I can put the audio by itself, but uh, well, I guess if I can share a window, I can share the yeah. player. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. I will. Uh, I will change my battery. It's driving me crazy now. And then when I do play, when I do a live playbacks, I can hear it, and I'm like, how are people not going crazy with it? Because I have everyone mailing me saying, oh, comment and saying, change your battery, change your battery. My friend uh, Lynn in Philadelphia. <laughs> my friend actually uh, called up to me last week and she came up with some gifts and so on and um, a packet of batteries was one of them to change my smoke alarm. <laughs> hey, I'll just send it over. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I'll just send it to her. Oh, okay. right, right, right. I'm going to have to, you're going to have to tell me how to do that share option, uh, okay. Robin. Yeah. <laughs> you got an itch? Huh? The, the yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was actually scratching. I thought, geez, that's, her asking me to, that's her asking me to pet her. She's like, over here. And over there. there. Don't the spot. There we go. <laughs> <That's Sassy. awesome. laughs> she looks at it. <laughs> she knows yes. Auntie Jennifer. I remember one time I was at a location up in the north of Ireland and it was the first time I've, you know, when you see shadow figures and, you know, full apparitions. So I've seen one and you know when people can say, yep, check that off the box, seen that, you know, heard that, fantastic audio, seen the full apparition. And I've seen one up in the north of Ireland. And um, i seen, it was, you could see the, the head, the shoulders, the, the mouth, the nose, the neck, everything. And I said nothing to my friend who was in the car with me. And I uh, I said nothing. I had to oh, register no. what I saw. You could have knocked in wood. It was that solid. It was fabulous to see. Hmm. We knew everyone was underneath the tunnels. Yeah. It was in Shane's Castle up in the north of Ireland. And um I've done the place for many, many years. Six years on the trot. I said nothing. And then my friend next to me said, oh, my God, did you just see that? And I gulped like, you know, Shaggy and Scooby. And I looked at her and I said, what did you see? And she said, I saw legs and a, a waist and legs just walking by. Nice. We saw, I saw the top half and she saw the bottom half, just like solid black walking by. Uh, I, I, I can't remember. Oh, I think I had when I had uh, Dr. Kieran O'Keefe on my show last year. And uh, I forget what he said about the um, why we it's just people seeing different things and hearing different things. But it was, yes, I can tick it off. Look at her hanging upside down. Oh, my God. I so want a bird. If I didn't have a cat, I would totally get one. What? Right. And if I didn't have this bird, I'd have a cat. Thanks, Sass. We, we oh, could trade off every now and then. We could trade off. <laughs> what? Okay, I, I have this. Uh, so I'm going to share the screen. David, what's your cat's name? Tits. <laughs> 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 Obviously, I thought that was funny. And I said, <laughs> tits. That's what I call it. And I it's left your voicemail saying, show it, you know, show show everybody tits, your tits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and my um, bird's name's Sassy, yeah. so together they're sassy tits. I like it. <laughs> okay. okay. Here we go. On that, we're gonna play the the EVP that's still alive in here. Oh my god. Awesome. Yeah, with well, that red light on it, what? Yeah. That's just, I mean. Oh my gosh, yeah. Can amazing. everybody hear that pretty good? Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. Know, I, I, I can't. yeah it's sad. It, it really is. And there's one EVP. I tell you what, there's one EVP. I can Hi. see it. And maybe y'all can decide and try to figure out what it's saying. I, it's in the same place. And. Go for it. Go for it. I, can't, I can't over the, all these years, you know, I think it was like 15 years ago. And what? <laughs> Don't do what? <laughs> we have two and I'm deaf because of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I had, I was fostering one here before and I'm not kidding you. I, I, I work with animals and I, you know, rescue and whatnot. And I've never been, this one was about, oh, he's going to do the Adam family. This one was about five or six years of age so very established with the family but they moved to australia oh my gosh yeah uh my friend who who has african greys and cockatoos and cockatiels and everything she came to pick him up because um the kids were petrified of him i was petrified of him and he's a bird i was petrified of him 
that Not bird like can it. tear you limb from limb. Like she looked all friendly and everything. We had to get to that point. You know, I, there's plenty of blood that has been spilled by that bird and she enjoys it. Okay. She's a, she's yeah. A, yeah. She's a, I tell her very sweetly, I go, you know, you're a terrible person deep down inside. So one of these days she's going to end up saying that, but I say it very sweetly to her deep down, you're a terrible person. Especially when she poops on me. For fun, like for market, she'll poop on me. You know, she walks on the shower curtain rod while I'm in the shower. And if you yeah. close your eyes and you're rinsing your hair and you look up, she is actively trying to shit on me. Is she? I have a lot of people yeah. shit on me. Like, like, you're a terrible person. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, oh, anyway, I'm trying to interrupt. Like, <laughs> Hello, Ashley. Oh, uh, yeah, I sent that over to you. Oh, oh you did. Okay. Live us. Yeah. Oh, God. Our Amazon will outlive us. That's the thing. Yep. That's the thing. You don't want them to go before you, but you don't want them to, you want them to be okay when you go, if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 It's about 25. I know she'll out, outlive me for spite, if nothing else. How old is Sassy? How old is Sassy? About 25. 25. Is she? How long can they live for? Born in um, November. Uh, I'm a Scorpio. She was born in November of 1996. Oh my God. And how long can they live for? Oh, 70 years. The group I'm in on Facebook, they're 70 year old. <laughs> they're 70 year old parents in there. I don't want anything bad to happen to her, but when I really think that she can live, there's, there's Ted. Here comes Ted. Now, where's my Charlie? Cha Cha, Limsy Ted. Oh, isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> and she's she fabulous. Is. Look, she's so oh. gorgeous. She's a bitch. And she's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's Where's Charlie? Charlie, come here. We're going to do show and tell of our animals. This is Charlie. Might as well. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie is bonkers. Charlie came to me in December, very feral, came from a colony and was rescued. And no. oh, he was tiny. You couldn't look at him, touch him. We had to leave him in the crate for about a week to desensitize him. You know, look at him. <laughs> now he's yeah. just he's just like he's, he's brilliant he's so spoiled he's a little baby too he is so cute he's he's cute. Yeah. yes he's a little mad he's very spoiled and now he's gonna start giving out to me look because he's bonkers so it's a show and tell look at our tits <laughs> oh sorry i put this up I need to. in the okay. meantime oh, uh, uh, can i bring up here <laughs> Let me start that again. That right there, it's, to me, it says, sounds like, won't you stay in my room, silly, or something like that. Towards the end. Oh, yes. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Oh wow! Yes. We were walking past the room, and it came from in that room. Is that the same location as the first one? Oh no, th no, it's not. The, I'm sorry, it's not. It's mm -hmm. that's the Lindley House in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Wow! And then like two little girls. She we sounds like a little girl. Does, does she sound okay. like a girl? Huh? Does she sound the second one sounded like a little girl? Uh, the first one was the little girl. The second yeah. one sounded like an older woman. Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. So, Sounds uh, like me. Why don't stay in my room, silly? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. We're walking yeah. right past this room. Uh, I've had some crazy experiences yeah. in this place. That place was insane. I mean, lights going on and off, on and off. So. That's Raj. Hey, Raj. Um, did you, Nando, did you hear the other one, the first one of the little girl, Nando? Let me know. Uh, it's quite good, actually. It's brilliant. No, yeah, that's it. Um, what would be one of your favorite locations to ever go to that you'd want to go to? That I want to? Yeah. Oh, man, I'd like to go to the Coliseum in Rome. Uh, yeah, yes. that, yeah. That would be one of the places I would love to investigate. I always uh, said I want to investigate the Vatican. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Could you imagine? I mean, the catacombs. Yes. Yeah. Are they, I mean, do you have to, can you do tours in the catacomb, in the catacombs in Paris? Can you do tours? Is it open to the public? I have no idea. I don't think so. I, 
Oh, I'm sure. There were like nightclubs down there or something. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong city. In Paris. I don't know, maybe London. I have no idea. I sound like a stupid American right now, but I, I thought that some catacomb somewhere, they actually had made sections of them um, mm -hmm. like very open to the public, you know, like, but maybe I'm. Yeah, I'd like to go to maybe it. Maybe I dreamed it. I have no idea, no basis for saying that. So moving on. Is that just Sassy doing that again? Yeah, she's she hears us talking and so she wants to be part of it. And she wants to ruin my necklace and poop on me and make sure that everybody sees it, you know, that kind of weird shit. She's weird <laughs> like that. She's a little weird. Oh, this is Nando. Come to Italy with me, David. I'll take you to some good spots and food. Good yes. Food and Paolo, my friend Paolo was talking about coming over too. So we should just go with math. Yes. Hello. Huh? N Nando, you were, on, you were on the show with Sarah before. Sarah's Nando's wife. You were on the show with Sarah. I don't know how long ago, though. I don't know how long ago that was. Any any places that you want to do in Ireland, David? I don't know any places in Ireland. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> really? I'm a stupid American, remember? Uh, are there, <laughs> right. Oh, are there God. ghosts over there? <laughs> <laughs> Like I left swear left. I saw a shadow potato fly by. No. <laughs> like Lep Castle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard you talk yeah. about that. Castle. Like, <laughs> don't know. like, I don't know. I know a few places in America. But it's Lep Castle. Like, we're back there soon. Um, and uh, look, uh, look at this. Potato, potato. Because Nando is past ah, I started. <laughs> he calls me potato. And I call him Pasta Solo because Nando's Italian. But he's yeah. Irish as well. <laughs> he's Irish uh, Italian. What about gonna... what about like ancient? Um, I'm not a big cemetery or graveyard person, although mm. there are spirits there sometimes. So get out, get over it, people. But um, what about like ancient burial mounds and grounds and certain things like that uh, in, uh, in Ireland? Are there things like that in in Ireland? Yeah. I mean, I know there has to be, right? Like old Did Celtic. It? End up walking away with the curse and shit. Uh, yeah, I'm living <laughs> in, that I in your pocket. And I love a fairy in the other one. Is say again, there's any burial grounds here in Ireland? Sacred burial grounds? Like, yeah, like that you can go to and like Oh my gosh. There's there's a few of them. I don't know the names of them, but if you just come across them, like oh my gosh, there's old abbeys. Um oh gosh, there's an abbey. Oh geez, it's only about half an hour out the road from me. Um Oh, be, be act of objective, Abby. Uh, film, I think, um, or oh, some film was done that before. But you have there, you have uh, monasteries. You can go into any of them because they're just ruins, but you can go to any of them. Yeah. I'd be curious to go to the older ones, like before Christianity. That's what I'm talking about. Ancient. Listen oh, to my God. Charles from Texas. I'm from Austin. Austin used to be. What part of Texas are you from? What? Oh, Lee. Uh, I just, I was just asking oh. where Texas uh, he was from. Lee oh. Castle. Let the yeah, let Charles. Where are you from in Texas? I used to live in Austin, and uh, my family is in Becky Waco. We ain't coming out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we say in Texas. Remember? Listen to his dinner sing. Um, oh, he's from uh, San Angelo. San Angelo. Do you know it? You do know it? Um, Greg is saying that he was in the original catacombs uh, catacombs in old Rome where they buried the Christians in the walls. Like, really? Nice. Like, oh my God, there's a Mr. Greg. I was on Greg's show last night. It was absolutely brilliant. It was brilliant. I uh, definitely do it again, but uh, I think two of them came with me and I just finished my show, but it, it was brilliant. I loved doing it. Um, we have to get Greg onto the Shadow Whispers at home in the next few weeks. Um, gosh, I was going to say something, didn't I? Um, tomorrow night, when I have my investigation tomorrow night, I'm going to take some balloons with me for the children that's there. We know there's a little boy and a little girl. So I'm going to take uh, balloons with me to see uh, what happens. Now, uh, who's it? Uh, uh, Lou has a fantastic camera set up so we can watch it. But I find when we use the cameras and we're watching, Mm -hmm. You go cross-eyed watching because sometimes you might and might not get anything. Oh, I know. I, 
I mean, you and know, like I know I had it in um, it's in the center of Texas. Was it close to Dallas? Hmm. Say that again. No, I just said it. Uh, he said it was in the center of Texas, so I was right. close to Dallas. Listen to this one here, and I listen to you. He's going to be doing that. that. I went to um, whenever I was in El Paso. Right. Uh, the place, uh, the Soto Hotel. That's what it was. We actually investigated the Soto Hotel. It was pretty cool. Got some pretty cool evidence out of it. it mainly the basement area. So anything, one location that you went to and you didn't get anything, anything from regardless. There's, There's a lot. One, <laughs> yeah. I found one place that you could get nothing in regardless. Absolutely nothing. Regardless of how old it looked, we got nothing from it. Um, and people would investigate more in the nighttime than it would in the daytime. And it's just because daytime, there's a lot more noise going around and whatnot. And we were right beside the River Boyne. Oh, thank you, lovely. Thank you. We were right beside the River Boyne. But no, we probably heard a chain or two, but that's it. We got nothing else from it. Got nothing from it. Any other places that you'd love to go to, to investigate? I mean, there's other places, there's places out there that, I mean, that are active, but it's hit and miss on them, just like any location. Right. You know, we could go to the Shanley and not get something one night, the next night all hell break loose, you know. What do you so, think of the Conjuring House? <laughs> that As place is it can be intense it definitely can whenever me and stormy and uh investigated back in the day and we got some crazy shit happened that night i mean and really? storm has a uh uh ed and lorraine warn doll called susan and yeah. she didn't want to bring susan in the conjuring house so he left susan in the back seat of the vehicle put a seat belt on her in. well we're sitting here mm -hmm. me and justin are down and blade we're down in the uh well barrett we were down in the bottom in the basement and the girls were upstairs and i looked at justin i was like man i'm not feeling right man let's go up there and check on the girls as soon as we got to the top of the steps from the basement we hear the car alarm going off the women scream we all go running toward the front door open the front door the back of the v uh, the back door driver's side door right passenger side is wide open seat belts undone susan laying on the ground and nobody else there. No. Hey, that's what you said. Hey, hell no. Yeah. It was nobody else was there. there yeah. We could not explain it. There were multiple things that happened that night. Um, like, uh, hell, uh, down, we were down, uh, storms doing sensory deprivation in the basement, and they have a well mm -hmm. down there. And I pulled a board off the top of the well. And as soon as she gets through, she stands up. I mean, we got it on video. There was a ramp pod next to the well. Happen went off all night. She stands mm -hmm. up. Start says a couple of words. The next thing you know, the ramp pod starts going off, and yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 the, I'm I'm right next to the well. Storm is like, oh my god, oh my god, something's coming up the well. Something's coming up the well. I kick the board back over the top of the well, and the ramp pod shoo, stops. Oh Soon my god, I'm like what? And uh, I mean, shit. There was another experience <laughs> that I had there that I. Don't really want to get into. Well, I guess I can real quick because I got. Well, we got ten minutes left. Yeah. Uh, I was um in the kitchen. I was actually doing a live feed. I was in the kitchen. It was me and two other uh, girls, and I was just asking questions. And it was pitch black. You couldn't see anything. And I just happened to look over beside uh, Sarah was behind me. I look over behind you know behind me at Sarah. Yeah. And over her left shoulder, it was a weird. I've never seen anything like this before. It screwed me up mentally. I mean, for about an hour, it took me to calm down. It was the the outline of a female, just the face. It was like a light white, but it was real dim. It was just the outlines. You could see the hair. You could see the eyes. You could see, you know, all this stuff right here, the lips. It was just like a drawing, you know, put it that way. Yeah, yeah. And it, I jumped, and I got on a lot of feet. I I didn't get that, but I jumped whenever I did. I was like, oh, shit, what the hell was that, you know? And um, I was like, nope, I got to take a break. Because it it's so intense. It's the same night, same night. I go outside whenever whenever I smoke cigarettes. I went out there, and I smoked like 20 cigarettes. I mean, it was back to back. And uh, Barrett, uh, Stormy's husband, was out there trying to get me to calm down and talk to me. And I was like, man, I don't know. And I explained everything to him. And Sarah came out there and was like, and I explained to her what I saw. She said, give me. 
I'll be right back. She went inside. Five minutes later, she came back out. And she had a picture. It was a. Uh, she had a picture. It was a portrait. It was about that big. She was yeah. like, "Is this what you saw?" It was the same woman. The hair, the face, all that. The same woman. I was like, "Oh my God, that's that's what I saw." Who is that? She was like, "That that's my mother. She passed away a year ago." Oh no! Oh no! I was like, "Oh my God, that really messed me up." But um, you saw was, Stormy's mom. Uh, no, 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 Sarah's oh. mom. Oh, Sarah's mom. Yeah. Holy so crap! Was, and she was like, "She's always with me. I know she is." And I was like, "Yes, she is. She is scared the hell out of me." You know, because I wasn't expecting it. Uh, there was the other experiences there. Like, we, I was out there with uh, Sam about Trustis and uh, Monique too soon. Monique was right. holding an event there. It was a New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve event. And we were there. There was at one point where I felt spirit around me. And next thing you knew, it was, I don't know, it's so weird. It felt like something just pulled all of my energy out of me. I mean, I really, I got dizzy and I almost fainted. I, I, I even told him, I was like, I don't feel right. That was crazy as hell. It was like just everything was sucked out of me. And I sat down like, shit, it took me about 30 minutes to recover. Um, later on the night, we were investigating and we were, it was like three of us, we were talking in like the main area, I guess, you know, the, as soon as you get the threshold of the door and there's a chandelier mm. above us and one of the paying guests just happened to say hey that chandelier is swinging we look up that damn chandelier is swinging back and forth and there was no reason for it wasn't swinging before she just happened to look up and see it and it was swinging right above us do you so. get all the good things do you get all the good things we get look we get the evps the evps but you get the visualization in front of you like someone manifesting themselves in front of you i, yeah. I like that um I would like, I mean, yes, things have happened where, you know, when someone rushes up in front of you, and like I said this before, somebody rushes up in front of you and it feels as if they go run through you. So then like yeah. the matrix what happened to me in the, in the Shane's castle in the, in the tunnels and things like that, you know, when I do lives, you know, when, you know, when, of course they use electric, electric for energy and so on, but you can hear this, this static and then Jenny coming through. Oh, I'm going to see if I can send that on to you, Robin. If I send it on to you, can you put that one up? I think so. I think so. I think when I was at the, the Conjuring house, <coughs> they seem more annoyed with me. Like, just, just, I'll just say whatever you want so you leave me alone type of situation. But um, we were with, I was with John Griffin, actually, and he had a pretty new car. And when you said something about something happening in the car, the uh, I can't remember the gentleman's name who let, who was the caretaker at the time. He said he had actually had some sort of a dream that we were going to have car trouble. And sure enough, the next morning, that battery, and it wasn't that cold or anything like that. That battery was was dead. And we had to, like, wake the guy up. And he wasn't thrilled or whatever. It was pretty early in the morning. We're, like, beating on his door trying to, so we could get a jump. And uh, John's like, I don't understand why this battery should not be completely dead. And I was like, well, it wasn't, like, scary in there to us for that night or whatever, but it was it was odd. And I was alone by the well when you're talking about the well. And I was looking down, and I had my flashlight, and I was like, wow, it's not really that deep. It's not that. And I was reaching my hand down in there, and something said, stop. Just stop. Because I wanted to feel the the bottom, like, what's the tech? You know, I was really... Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, this is dumb. I was like, not because of physically falling in or anything like that, but I felt like something was like... Bitch, stop. I know, yeah. I know. I mean, that area is definitely crazy. And Pamela, I just saw that uh, talking about Brian and Rochelle whenever they filmed yeah. Sleep with some Rest uh, with, with Kendall and uh, his wife. And oh. I watched it. It was pretty intense. And I mean, it, it was. <laughs> hey, Jill, how you doing? It, 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 it was pretty crazy. It really was, you know. And I, I love Brian and Rochelle. I love them to death. And they... Brian, Brian, he really don't get freaked out that much, but that right there, it freaked him out. Mm. Yeah. The the other thing that was kind of silly or whatever, um, I was going around taking up my CCTV cameras and I was in the basement alone. And for some reason I felt I was like singing and I was heading that long walk from 
one end down the stairs to the other where the camera was. And for whatever reason, I started clapping, clap, 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 clap. And I was seeing it headed towards my seat. God, I was the only one who was going to see it. And I realized that I was doing the movie clap, clap, the clap, clap thing. And I was like, what am I doing? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I was like, Ugh. I was like, what the hell am I doing? And I freaked myself out doing that from the move from the movie. That's stupid. But, um, okay. Yeah, is asking, have, have any of you ever had a spirit push en energy through you? See, that's what I'm thinking. Either what happened there at the Conjuring House. Yeah. Or either something pu pulled energy out of me or something just pushed something in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was talking to Connie, Connie about it. Um, Connie Cohen. I was talking to her and she was explaining to me because I mean, Connie's also a shaman and uh, she's a psychic medium and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she was explaining. She was like, yeah, it was either something pulled energy out of you or push something in in there that's yeah that i know what when i was just saying like up in shane's castle we had done a reenactment before that and uh it, it was okay i was calling out and you know i was asking questions that they didn't want a woman to be giving them order because they were like soldiers army men from england from uh spanish and, and french well they would have been captured um uh and and prisoners but so i'm calling out so i, I this is back when I when I started off a little bit of provoking, but I was kind of say Jen, you know, provoke, and I kind of didn't want to do it, but I did. Um, so anyway, it was proved good, and it was good. Uh, coming to the end of the night, I was taking my group back down to the area where we had done the reenactment. So when you walked in, this sulfur would hit you in the face. It was just, a, it was the most awful, awful, strongest smell of sulfur I've ever had. It would burn the top of your throat and your nostrils and everything. So then one of the women said, Jen, we don't go continue on. And I'm like, well, we do because now we know they're warning us do not come back in. And of course, Jenny Big Balls, which, you know, Billy Big Balls. Um, oh, do, Brad, I'd love to see that. Uh, I said, no, we know they're here. And they know we're here. We're going to go to continue. And we had some public with us, so you got to keep think of their safety first, your own as well, but theirs too. So um, we're walking down, and and then I changed my mind, and I said, right, fine, we'll we'll turn around and go back out. And then I said, I don't know why we're leaving when they know we're here, you know. And then with I'd say ten seconds or less after that, it's as if something ran up towards me, stood face to face, or ran through me. But it was like the matrix where I closed my eyes and I went back. I felt like I went back slowly and came back up and I couldn't hear. Uh, I lost about, uh, it was kind of like I was scared, but I wasn't scared. But it was different and I didn't understand it. Then when I came to, I'd say 10 seconds later, 12 seconds later, um, I came to and I just said, get me out as quietly I said get me out get me out and then I thought to myself if you panic you lose it yeah yeah walk slowly and just kind of like you're okay you'll be okay it took me months before I went back when I went back I said I'm sorry for being a Billy Big Bones you know I didn't mean to give you orders from a woman to you know an army man or whatever you were um so it taught me to be respectful yes yeah don't be stupid don't and I I didn't want to provoke, but the founder was saying, Jenny, you're provoking, you know, like put on put on a show. So I oh you don't have to you know when when you know, when I'm given orders to a man, I really get into that role. I got into it too, <laughs> and um, <laughs> I uh, yes, and it kind of bit me in the ass. Don't be an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> don't be an asshole. Yeah. So yeah, that taught, I I learned a lesson that day, and I went back. When I went back, I apologized. Yeah. She yeah. me up, and I apologized. And I kind of stuck to what I was told to, not told to do, but I was stuck to respect. Be if be be if not. I don't mean be afraid, but be healthy when you're investigating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be nice when you do it. Well, don't it, be it, don't don't be blinded. Well, Robin, can you just put the, huh? I do have it. Yeah, I'm about to have to get off. Go ahead and play that. Okay, okay I'll play that real quick. Here we okay, go. Okay, you have it here, just so you can have a wee listen to it and watch my face. Well, I mean, we're talking about dog poo. We were on with Howard and we were talking about dog poo. I know okay. why dogs eat it. So I just had to let you know. No, what I'm not sure. All right, here we go. Very oh, yeah. I think because they smell other food and they smell whatever and they do eat it. Oh, I don't know. I myself. I gourmet myself. 
<laughs> My poop was never so warm. I want to tell you right. Power. Come on. Nope. Still no. <laughs> Only a second from now on, Jenny. <laughs> nope. Still no. <laughs> there it is. That was loud. Watch my face change. That was loud. Say it one more time. Watch my face change. Kind of, you know, coach in the middle of it. Um, I heard it here, and then you can hear the static, like the coming through first. Oh, sorry, Robin. Do it one more time, and then we'll go. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Um, Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh boy, can I see okay, it? Okay, I'll get to it real quick, very quickly. Uh, there it is. <clears throat> okay. Oh, Jennifer. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Nope, no, no. Yes. Oh, no, from now on, Jenny. <laughs> wow. From now on, Jenny. Yeah, you can see that you're. Yeah, you, did, uh, did Jax, did Jax and, uh, and Ricky hear that? No. Can it, sorry. No, they didn't hear it. No. No, they didn't hear it. And you see, we kind of went to say something like, did, did, anyone, did anyone hear anything? But I didn't say it. Um, uh, Hello. Oh, <laughs> I didn't say anything to them. Um, oh, hi, Memphis Ghost Hunters. Uh, I didn't say anything to them. I kind of rewatched it. And then heard it. So yes, and the same thing came through then last night. Different voice, I think. I'm not too sure, mm. but yeah, it was um, the man. Do you know who he is? Who said Jenny? Jenny. Like who said Jenny? Don't know. Don't know. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Greg. Thank you so 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 much. Um, David, do you want to tell everybody very quickly where people can find you? Yeah, just look me up on Facebook, David Childers. <laughs> uh, follow TikTok, David Childers Paranormal Addict, uh, David Childers Ghost Hunter or whatever. I mean, look me up on there. Give me a follow. Uh, yeah, just Facebook. Look at some of the events we got going up. I got flyers everywhere covering my page about different kind of you know places that we're going. Uh, a couple, couple of them are going to be fundraisers, like one of them, USS Sam. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she throws. Uh, she puts on a lot of events. She, actually, she's the one doing hell, putting on Hell House Paracon. Nice, couple, nice. Uh, hell House event. So yeah, just uh, look it up, and you want to come out and hang out and be a ghost hunter for the night, or I hate that word, a paranormal investigator for the night. And get, yeah, get your paranormal fix. Come out and hang out with us. Uh, so far, uh, one of the Wilson Castle events that I'm hosting, and Chris Sanders and Christina. Uh, and uh, Deja Vu Paranormal, uh, you know, Laura, where that right there is going to be a pretty good event. It's a fundraiser. It's almost sold out. Got like maybe right. 10 minutes left. So, uh, yeah. Oh, good. Yep, that's about it. Fantastic. David, thank you so, so, so much for joining us again tonight. Robin, thank you so much for, for hosting the show with me tonight. Everyone who liked Comet Shirt and just jumped in to watch us. Again, I will be back next Saturday night. Um, oh, we have a new show happening next Saturday night. We have a new show happening Saturday night. Uh, the 11th, uh, uh, Paranormal Experiences. I hope I said that name right. Nando's watching saying, Jennifer, I got it wrong. And basically, it's just about people who has had paranormal experiences. You know, just Joe Soap. No, no paranormal people know, you know, just Joe Soap that has had paranormal experiences that never spoke about them before that you can email into us and all of that. But we'll have that post up John, during the week. So I'm going to bring you guys in the background for two minutes and then I'm going to do the outro. I'll talk to you all later. See you all next week. <laughs>